Welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, so in this video we're going to go over setting up the TV aerial, um, how to get the best signal, how to position it and if you're having any problems um, actually getting a signal, again areas where you should be looking to actually get that corrected. Somewhere you can check, just make sure everything's connected as expected. Um, so hopefully this will be beneficial and uh, we'll get cracking. So this is the TV amplifier, it runs off the 12 volt, it has a switch on the top uh, and then when it's working you, you normally have the blue light come on. Um, this is quite a standard model that you see in caravans, yours might be slightly different but the principle is the same of how they work. Uh, you've got the, the TV aerial coming in off the roof, uh, you've got a TV aerial then feeding the sockets around your caravan, um, you may have one or two. Um, and again, you just need to make sure that they're, they're done up tight. Um, they, they are a twist connection. They're not your standard ones. You have a TV at home where they just push in on, on the basis that when you're traveling, obviously they can rattle loose and fall out and then cause you problems. So they, they do they do pinch up and, and, do, and give you a good connection. It is crucial that, yeah, you remember to turn this off before traveling home again, because again, this will be drawing power. Um, and again, it'll be another issue that you'll have when you've got a flat battery. So here's your TV aerial. Um, to obviously get this in the right place, it's just a case of unscrewing that. You would then push it up and then lock it back in place. Um, before locking it in place, you will need to understand which direction your TV signal is coming. So if it's going over that way, you would just twist it around and, and vice versa. And obviously you, you can get a visual from outside um, or you can use your sky window just to see which direction it's pointing in. And then this one does the pitch. So it'll take it from a flat position to like a, a, an angled one. And then once you're happy with it, like I say, you just twist the top and lock it in place and then that's good for your stay. Also on here you have an indicator, so when you are changing the pitch um, using the, the handle at the bottom, it will give you an indication of how far you can go. Um, if you go too far, it will go red, um, and then yeah, it just gives an indi indication to stop. Also, when you're bringing it down as you're no longer using it anymore, if you have this facing that way straight out, then you know the actual aerial is actually pointing forwards where you want it to lock it into position to travel home. So when you are positioning and you're trying to get it in the right direction, normally nine times out of 10 at your sky, main sky window, you'll be able to see exactly the direction that you're pointing and the angle that you have. Um, you can look around the different caravans near you and see which, which direction they have it pointed. That will give you a good indication um, it, you know, that you are going to pick up some TV signals. The other way is to use an app, which I'll, I'll show you next. So this is the app antenna finder that we use when we're trying to find a good signal for the TV. Uh, this first screen you've got two options you either put the postcode or the location that you're in or but the option I use is uh, use current GPS location so click on that. You then got all the different um, locations where you can get a signal from um, starting from the strongest to the weakest so always choose the top option once you've done that, that takes you into this compass and then this will point to the direction of where that antenna is so you can pick that signal up. So it's then just a case of getting your TV aerial pointing in that direction and locking it in place. You're then good to go and get a, a tune on your TV to see if you can pick the signal up. If you're not getting all the channels or it's um, flickering, things to check are making sure that your amplifier is turned on and then just checking your cabling from that to your TV. So when it comes to problem solving anything in terms of TV aerials, if you need to check the TV socket itself, it's quite straightforward. It's just a case of this would unclip, leaving this part. You then unscrew those, the two screws, which then obviously get you, gets you to the actual two sockets themselves. Then obviously you've got your TV aerial, and then under that is your stand sort of connection that you would expect to see at home. Um, the only difference at the end is it's got one of the twist connections, and that's just to make sure when you're traveling, it doesn't vibrate itself loose, and that's why you've got a different connection into here. 
Um, but again, quite straightforward to check just to see what's going on in terms of uh, the ports. Here it is, uh, screwed back in, and then this is just the fascia plate that goes on and clips back into place. Um, it's quite quite straightforward, like I say, you've got a, a space here where you can put something in just to prise this up, but just be really careful when you do, because you don't want to snap this. It's uh, only made of plastic, but it should come away quite easy. And for us, the TV aerial would obviously, would start around here, come back down as you just saw, it'd come around along with the wiring loom of the caravan. Um, and in this case, it goes into our wardrobe where the aerial socket meets the actual aerial on the roof and the amplifier. So hopefully this video has been beneficial to you. It gives you the steps to go through and get a really strong TV signal um, and a few problem solving techniques in, in between. Uh, any questions, then uh, yeah, drop them in the comments below. If not, I will see you soon. Please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe.